Hey, this is Carrie Lane and I am live at Anime Expo. We are here at the Bluefin Gundam booth. So all those Gundam fans, you're going to want to listen to all this exciting news. So uh, tell me who you are and how are you involved with Bluefin? Hi, my name is Xavier Lim. I'm a brand manager at Bluefin, which is the uh, official U.S. distributor that brings in the Gundam model products from Japan. We supply stores and we uh, run promotional events in the U.S. Cool. And then we specified the Gundam booth because you actually have two booths this year, yeah? Yes, this booth is a special uh, interactive fan booth uh, that was uh, developed for this year for Gundam specifically. Uh, in this booth, which is which has a stage and a number of display components, we uh, allow the fans to experience different parts of Gundam. On the stage behind me, we have been showing videos um, both of the actual TV show and various promotional features. Uh, of the anime and also the various parts of Gundam, like the merchandise, like the Gundam model kits. And we've also had uh, panels, both instructional for how to build yeah. and also informational for all the uh, different parts of the Gundam fandom as well. Very cool. Yeah, we got the tail end of that. You had a, quite a crowd here watching. And then I saw after, uh, it looked like there was a prize and someone was signing it. Yeah, so we had a speed build competition maybe about 10 minutes ago. Oh, um, they yeah. had to build a model kit within a certain time limit. Yeah. and. And um, the one that completed it the most within that time limit received a prize. Uh, we gave them a copy of Gundam, New Gundam Breaker, which is yeah. the latest Gundam video game, which we also have uh, up for demo here in this booth as well. Well, before we look at some other parts of the booth, which version of Gundam would you say is your favorite? Uh, I like the original uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. That's yeah. the TV series appearing in 1979. Wow, nice. <laughs> Old school, I like it. <laughs> uh, now, there were other figures on sale, but it looks like uh, you guys have sold out. Have, were you doing sales here? Actually, the, uh, the sales uh, were at our separate booth, which is okay. on the other side. But we had a, a model contest that ended yesterday. Where, which was on display in one of those shelves. Oh, okay. the, uh, it was called the Gunpla Builders World Cup. So people who would bring in their completed models and they would be oh. judged by some yeah. uh, high-level uh, high uh, famous Japanese uh, judges. How fun. That's very exciting. What made you think to have that kind of interactivity for fans of building and having judging? So for Gundam as a franchise, it's a, uh, this year is the 39th anniversary. Next year is the Big 40. So this is actually yeah. part of a larger um, level of things to come. So yeah. this was just sort of a preview of more uh, larger events that are being planned in the coming future to celebrate the big anniversary of Gundam. Sweet. Uh, let's go take a look at, we have some figures on display over here and if you tell me about those as well. Yeah. Sure thing. So walk and talk, yay. So we're coming over to the side of the booth. As you can see, it's pretty crowded still. And we got a bunch of different figures in uh, these great cases that you can see all of them. So uh, all the displays in the booth are showcasing various uh, sub-product lines for uh, the Gundam merchandise. Uh, we have in this one over here, we were showing all the con exclusive uh, kits that we're selling. So these can only be purchased at events in the US. They're otherwise only available in Japan. Yep. And then uh, these other cases of various products, like this one behind you has uh, the super deformed cross silhouette series, which are like chibi sized versions of the Gundams. They look so cute. Yeah. They, we've had a lot of people asking about them. Unfortunately, yeah. they didn't make it in time for this show specifically okay. because of July 4th being in the middle of the week. But they are going to be available in, in regular U.S. stores oh. to purchase soon. Nice. Nice. Right. Uh, yeah, let's get a closer look at some of these exclusives. So also, uh, you have these here at Anime Expo. Comic-Con's coming up. Are you going to have some of these at, Co at Comic-Con as well? Yes, uh, these are event exclusives, and so they'll be available at other similar uh, trade show fan events as well for buying. They will not be available at uh, retail stores unless your retailer actually came to buy a bunch in person. So there you go, con exclusive. Be on the lookout. Because yeah, these figures are gorgeous. So much detail. And if you're a Gundam fan, this is definitely a booth you must check out. Do you have a lot of hardcore Gundam fans come by? Or is it a mix of new people, too, that just are like, oh, those look neat? Yeah, it's actually a healthy mix of both uh, longtime fans that know every little bit about the yeah. fictional universe of Gundam and also newer uh, casual fans that maybe they just watched the most recent series and are wanting to know a little bit more about um, the fandom and trying to get into the other series that have aired over the past years. Okay. Very cool. And then uh, we'll kind of look down the line here of other figures. 
And oh, we got a really big one here. What's this one uh, right over here? Uh, this here is the uh, Perfect Grade Gundam Exia. So uh, the Gundam model line has uh, several uh, levels, so to speak, of complexity. There is a uh, high grade, uh, real grade, master grade, and perfect grade. Perfect grade, as its name implies, is like the most um, complete uh, and detailed version of that particular Gundam design because of how large it is. This thing is about um, somewhere between um, 16 to 18 inches tall. Uh, this particular one is also uh, has LED capabilities. I was just going to say, I'm like, we saw a light. It was lighting up a second ago. Yeah, yeah so uh, there's electronics in, as well as um, construction included with this particular kit. And we got a couple other displays cases here down the line so yeah these are a little smaller but still intricate detail for sure yeah this is these are uh, two upcoming uh, master grade kits from uh, the Gundam 00 uh, series Gundam 00 is having its 10th anniversary this year so Bandai has been releasing a lot of Gundam 00 related product these are two examples of products that were coming out this year and it looks like we have one more here down the line yeah this is a display uh, showcasing some um, titles of products Product that were in the movie Ready Player One. Ah, yeah. So in Ready Player One, there was a lot of cameos by a lot of different popular um, pop culture icons. Gundam is in it. It plays a role fighting uh, Mecha Godzilla, and there are other uh, um, characters that show up in it as well. The uh, ship that's next to it is the Swordfish from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, very cool. And then I love this backdrop you have here. So these figures are ones people would buy and then make, yes? Yes, yes. So uh, the Gundam plastic models are known for their ease of assembly because they're completely color molded. So the colors are correct all out of the box. Maybe some parts are too small to be the correct color, but those can easily be like uh, painted with a small brush. There's no glue required. Everything is snapped together. So there's no um, worry about like having yeah. to like balance the parts while it's drying. Cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, I was, we got the red. I like that you have the Ready Player One like trailer playing there as well. Fun. That's a good way for people to be like, oh, what's the association? Yes. Awesome. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share here about the booth? And on the other side, we have. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll Ooh, we're gonna go through the crowd. We're gonna brave the Anime Expo crowd. We're going around the corner of the booth here. Uh, so we'll keep going. Shuffle, shuffle, give you a taste of what the Anime Expo crowd looks like. Oh, nice. Yes. We also have uh, for demo here uh, the new Gundam Breaker video game. So this is uh, in this game, uh, which is based around the Gundam plastic models, you can build and customize your own Gundam uh, model kits inside the game. And then you can actually use them to fight uh, other like models in the game. So you can see that these uh, these attendees here are they're customizing uh, something that they've come up with. You can do everything from choice of parts and also color schemes as well. Yeah. Now, do you put a time limit on it? Because I feel if I was doing this, I would spend so long getting exactly the customization I wanted. There, we don't actually impose a oh, okay. time limit, but a lot of people will um, naturally just uh, complete yeah. it within a certain reasonable amount of time. Cool. Yeah. The rest of the booth has other like um, upcoming products that cover different um, universe of, uh, of Gundam. So there's just a lot of new products on display. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other ones going on. Uh, and this is such a great way to get a look at the products here when you're walking down the different aisles in the exhibit hall. See them, the lighted bottom part of the display case really shows off all the colors and detail. Well, these three cases here are from the uh, currently airing Gundam Build Divers TV series, which is the latest Gundam series. Uh, these are the uh, models that are featured in the show. The show is um, it's a combination of sort of like a, a, a VR game crossover with Gundam. Because uh, in this, uh, people, they, they, um, they use VR to go into a gaming world. And in that gaming world, they have um, like Gundam model competitions as if they're piloting those actual Gundams. Uh, this is uh, showcasing a wide variety of products from the show that's coming out in the future and also available now. The TV series is also advertises, it's free to watch. You can watch it on like YouTube or any of the streaming services like Crunchyroll. 
And then, yeah, I love that you have the show underneath. So, in case you're wondering where it comes from. Yep. This is from the same show as well? Yeah, yep. All right. Oh, those ones are so cute. Oh, and these wings are great. Like those. Hey, look at those little guys. So cute. All right, we got a couple more down the line here. Several cases are all uh, featuring uh, products from the original Gundam timeline. Gundam has over 40 animated productions, but a number of them, a <laughs> yeah, a number, a number of them follow one continuity, and yeah. these uh, represent um, the like the latest uh, additions to that uh, particular timeline. So we have a lot of new products that are being showcased here for people to see for the first time outside Japan. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm noticing here we got the November 2018 Roadshow. So is this uh, then? Is, will this be the fall? Yeah, so this part, this particular um, uh, work, Gundam Narrative, is coming out in uh, November 2018. Nice. So, uh, which they're casing some of the products that are of characters from that, and they're also like doing like previews on our screens yeah. of the trailers. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I don't know if you all can tell while we're walking in line, lots of fans are stopping by, taking pictures, checking out. Is that fun to watch? Or how is that, watching people stop, take pictures, and look yeah, at it? Yeah, it's great. It's, uh, it shows that there's a great level of interest in uh, Gundam here in the U.S. There's a large misconception that Gundam is not very popular in the U.S., but uh, we know, and uh, Bandai and Sunrise also are aware, that there is a huge uh, fandom that's located in the U.S. They want, are taking steps to uh, properly take care of that growing fan base. So, yeah, we had some other great figures here. And then... Uh, Oh, here's another style. Yeah. Yeah. Again, other additions from the original Gundam uh, continuity, the Universal Century. Oh. And then we got the yeah. last one on the display here around this side of the booth. Yeah. This is from. Uh, these are uh, in. So, uh, like, uh, there's. These are called Mobile Suit Discovery. It's sort of a side story element uh, to Gundam where. There are experimental machines that you know, maybe they never saw the light of day, but they still decided to make a product of it. Cool. So like that, one of the giant shield back there. So yeah. um, it's sort of similar to like um, those secret weapons of World War II documentaries of like incomplete or like um, unfinished prototypes yeah. of tanks and vehicles that they maybe they had on the drawing board or they were in the middle of production, but it just yeah. never made it out in time for the war. Yeah. So they did a similar type of thing for like the fictional world of Gundam as well. Very cool. Uh, is there anything else at the booth we wanted to cover? No, I, I ran That's kind of it. Cool. Uh, let's wrap around a little bit here so we can look down the line, all the great display cases. And then I'll have you join me over here as well. So thank you so much for telling us all about Bluefin, the Gundam figures and everything. If people want to know more information, where should they go? So there's two websites you can go to. You can go to uh, Gundam.info, which is uh, everything that's purely about Gundam. And you can also visit uh, bluefinbrands.com for additional information for maybe where to buy, as well as other related products. Cool. And then Comic-Con is the next one coming up, and you'll have a booth there as well, right? Yes, that's correct. We will have a booth there. Booth 401. Great. So if you weren't able to go to Anime Expo and you're going to Comic-Con, make sure to check them out because, yeah, their figures are top-notch and displays are just really cool to look at while you're just walking by for sure, too. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Cool. And I'm Carrie Lane with AfterBuzz TV. Thank you for watching.